guys, Mrs. Novell here. Happy Wednesday. We are going to do a fun project, an easy project, um, creative project. We're going to use Romero Brito as our inspiration today. He's a famous Brazilian artist. He used a lot of bright colors and shapes, simple shapes and patterns. And um, this is what we're going to make today or something like this. Yours will obviously be different than mine. I hope it is because that's the best thing about this project is you can be as creative as you want to be and use whatever colors you want to use. There's some examples of his work on my Instagram story and if you want to Google him and get some more information that's always a good thing too. He's a lot of fun. I did a project um, that was inspired by his work back in February for Valentine's Day and the kids did something similar to this but with hearts and they turned out really cool. So we're going to use markers, Sharpie, um, pencil, you can use watercolors, and white paper. Okay? See you in a minute. Okay, here we go guys. To start with our egg, it's very simple. You're going to start at the very top and we're going to draw each side. So you're going to draw a nice curve to the bottom, just like that. And then you're going to draw another curve, kind of the same if you can all the way down there you go and there was your egg and so now what we're going to do is we're going to just draw some simple lines inside our egg so just like this i'm going to break the egg up into sections okay so i'm going to start by just drawing a line going straight down right there then i think i'm going to break it up about right here and then I think I'm gonna break up another line going right there. So the more sections you have, the more um, details you'll have to fill in. And then I think I might do one more going that way, just like that. So now, now you just have to draw some simple shapes. And we've done this before with all the Monart line family where you just add a pattern of lines or shapes or whatever you want to do. And you want to make them nice and big. You don't want them to be small or intricate. You want them to be big and you want it to fill in each section. So maybe over here I did, um, um, I'm going to over here, I'm going to do some diagonals. So up. So I'm adding a little upward pattern there, just like that. Just making it a little bit different, just like that. I think I'm gonna add one more right there. And then I think I'm gonna add, I just did hearts, so I think the next thing I'm gonna do is maybe some stars. So straight, across, and then diagonal. Straight, across, diagonal. Just like that. Sometimes people call these snowflake shapes, just like that, super easy. And then I think over here, I'm going to add some curved lines. So just a little curved line. So you can see my pattern, everything goes across. And then I think over here, maybe I'm gonna do some Squirrelies like this. And it doesn't have to start any specific direction. You can do it any way you want. You start in the center and you work your way out just like that. Very simple. And then what he also did in his um, his art is he also did the background. So everything kind of mixes together and it just gets really crazy, but that's what made his art so much fun. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna separate each section of the page behind it, because you want a background too. So I'm gonna draw diagonal lines like this. If you wanna use a ruler for this, you can. If you wanna make it more, um, the lines perfectly straight, you certainly can. And now if you want, you can put designs, shapes, whatever you want inside those sections too. 
Um, it's entirely up to you. I think I might just for a couple, like I might put some, some circles over here, some dots. I might shade them in. I might not. I don't know. I'll decide just like that. I think over here I might actually do some more stripes just to add a little bit more interest. See, just like that. I think over here I might add, I'm going to actually draw one more straight line just like that. I think over here I might add some simple lines like, like this, so little tick marks. So down and across, down and across. Now again, you can just leave these sections blank and just color them different colors if you want or paint them different colors, but I like to add more detail. Okay, and then over here, I'm probably gonna add some more stripes like this, see? And then over here, I'm gonna add some circles, but I think this time I'm gonna color them in. I'm gonna do the opposite of what I did on the other side, okay? So finish up your background design, and then you can rejoin me for the coloring. Okay, so now it's time to color. I, on this one, I used marker and watercolor for the background. So it's entirely up to you. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use crayons on this one. Even though I do like how bright this one looks, you're welcome to do that. I just use simple Crayola uh, markers. Just be careful if you paint the background that you don't go inside the Sharpie um, because it could bleed a little bit. So I'm gonna use crayon on this one and it's super easy. All you're gonna do is get to coloring. Because I did everything with my Sharpie, um, whatever you decide to color in with your crayon or your marker, you just go right over it because that Sharpie is going to keep everything nice and smooth and permanent. You can use a black crayon as well. Some of you littles whose parents are not quite sure about the Sharpie, I get it. Just use a crayon. The crayon is perfect um, to trace or make your shapes or whatever it is you want to do. Um, I think I used crayon with my students back in February when they made the hearts. So I'm going to repost those too so you can kind of see how those turned out. So you want to just keep coloring and you want to use nice bright colors. Um, that was what Romero Brito did. He was very, very well known for that. His bold colors and nothing really matched. Um, and that's just what made his work so impressive. So take a look at some of his examples I put up and then um, have fun creating your own. I think I'm gonna color in these hearts. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make them shaded because I kind of like that look. He didn't necessarily shade with um, black. He sometimes, a lot of his work, it's there's a different color inside than the inside design than there is for the background and that's also really cool to do but I'm gonna shade these in. So keep going. Be as bold and as creative as you can with your lines. And then I wanna see these. I would love to see some examples of your work because these are super fun. So if I'm gonna use my watercolors, I probably would start with a nice bright purple and start filling it in the background if you're gonna watercolor. And I would make each section the same color. You can do it different if you want. Um, that's up to you. But I'm going to make each section the same color. So I'll make this whole section purple. And then I probably would make the next section something completely different. Like maybe green. So if I was going to do the one next to it, I probably would pick maybe this green color and start filling this one in with green. And you can already see the contrast between the egg and the background and how cool that looks. So have fun. I cannot wait to see these. Please have mom or dad or whoever is helping you with your art um, send these to me so that I can share.
and they make me so happy. All right, so have fun. So that's the start of my second one. This is what my first one looked like. They're totally different. So do a couple if you want. Don't forget to sign your art. And that's it. Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.